Hello and welcome to my Tejudi workshop where I will show you my secret project that I have been working on for many days. It is a new Tejudi drilling machine which is here behind me. It's seven and a half meters of hopefully sheer flatness that was quite difficult actually to get. Actually more than quite difficult. It was quite a task. It starts here with these legs. They are 100 by 100 millimeter, 5 millimeters thick. They have these screws for uh, adjusting and some concrete beneath. And they go, they go up. And here you see the tempered cast iron, uh, 185 millimeters, 15 millimeters thick. I got it from Norbert. Thanks, Norbert. And on top you can see the C45 steel. Uh, 100 by 20 millimeters. It's already been drilled. That was quite a lot of work and countersink. Now I need to drill here inside these holes still um, uh, holes to go through to put these bolts. They are M12 and the total thickness here is 35 millimeters. Most of it I have been drilling on this uh, Deuce uh, D32 machine. Uh, it is actually a drill on a stand, but it's, it's much more like a drilling machine. It's very rigid and it's, it has a gearbox and it's quite strong and it works marvelously. So um, these parts, the green parts, are one and a half meters long, each of them. And they are bolted here by M24, I think, bolts. And these are also, these threaded rods are M24. They're here to stabilize everything and to give, um, to adjust the spacing. And here's the connection between the green tracks, but the steel tracks are connected here. And so there are some more holes here to be drilled and some of them have already been bolted. Um, this is around half of machine, a little bit less, depending from which side you look at. This is the spacer. And it has to go like this very easily, but without really any movement here. And uh, they were here in place while I've been drilling these holes so that everything is very finely aligned. Um, these are, this is uh, the feeding mechanism. It's uh, this time with gears. On the previous machine it was... Um, on a chain and a sprocket. This is the DOS stand that I use now uh, for drilling these holes because the magnetic drill is out of order temporarily. This is the old Ivenstock drill, very nice, quite strong. These are the bolts that go inside the M12. And uh, yeah, this is set up for the new drilling. Actually, it's much more work than it looks like because to uh, clamp everything and to adjust everything takes much more time than you would suppose. This is the wheel from the carriage. This is cast iron. Um, this is a place for the bearing and another one here. So there are four of it on each. There are four of it on, on a carriage and uh, the rest of the carriage is mostly aluminium and steel and drill, of course. And this is the last part of the drilling machine that I still didn't even align very finely yet. And there are no bolts. So, some more days of work. And um, here you can see the steady rests, most mostly steady rests. Um, the main parts and then in each box there is there are some other parts for the construction it's all been cut on a laser but most of it has to be still drilled or welded or the thread has to be cut the bolts these are the uh, bushings for the drills and some more steel plates you know there are quite some yeah, 
here. Quite, still quite a lot of work. Here you can see this is also part of the steady rest. This is uh, these are the clamping cams, the eccentric cams. They are case hardened, made in Austria. Very very nice uh, build quality. It's same like I have on my uh, lathe, and it goes in here. And this needs to be welded on the rest of the steady rest. Um, behind here you can see some of the smaller clamping threads for the wood that is being drilled. Oh, this is some heavy vandalism by the children uh, from the nearby village, I guess. And these are the big threads. They are 50 millimeters, so they are quite big. And they are also for the main clamping of the digits. Well, uh, soon to be digits. I think each thread is like 30 kilos. And it all needs to be uh, connected to this uh, bit. So this is seven and a half meter. And I think it's, I I'm sure that it's more than a ton. I just don't remember how much. I don't remember even if I calculated, but quite a lot of steel, quite many parts, quite a lot of work. I think the number of parts could be between 500 and 1000. Many of it need to be cut on a laser, like even every plate here. And uh, a lot of it still needs some other um, work like uh, work on a lathe or welding or um, sanding it properly and very finely so yeah i think the whole project started like three years ago with uh, drawings in cad to make everything work geometry wise because sometimes you imagine things in your head which don't have a very realistic um correspondence to the real life so you put many pieces in the same spot and you realize that there are like five bolts which are in the way of the carriage to pass through and then after CAD it was also to find the right pieces and uh, yeah to assemble it all it's really 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 a lot of work I will be extremely happy when this is done and to make it all flat like this, probably you can see now the flatness due to the camera lens distorting it a bit. But I've never had anything as long as and as flat here in the workshop. So yeah, quite excited to see how this will work. Okay, thanks for joining me in my workshop and uh, have a nice day.